Baba, Manto Vetabelate. This is everybody's day. This is everybody's day. The encounters that Jesus had with his disciples, disciples were designed to press them into a kingdom. So you can check your encounters. What is the emphasis? There was this thing that Papa did one time about a boy. You remember? They sketched it. About a boy who went to the to the river. How many of you have seen it? Ah. That a certain young boy was gradually following Jesus, but he went to the river to fetch water. And then he met a spirit. And the spirit now said, Ah, the spirit was I think the spirit was floating. Yes. And the spirit now instructed him that see, I want to show you certain things. It was in following that spirit that that boy's life scattered. All spirits have revelatory powers. So that it came to tell you what happened in your family, the spirit is not yet worth believing. There is a signature after the resurrection of Jesus that attended to the communications in the encounters that can advance your life and it is of things that pertain to the kingdom of God. Amen. That's how the people of the Christ are prepared. All of these labors were to prepare them for Acts chapter 2 when the big bang will come and Pentecost will happen. So you can know from your progressions if you have been numbered among those that God has chosen because there are the tokens of the chosen it begins with the commandments of the Christ and then it continues into encounters that prove that Jesus is alive and that bring forth utterances that pertain to the kingdom of God verse 4 and being assembled together with them he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem but wait for the promise of the father which said he he have heard of me so he began with commands he went into encounters and underguarded or, or sealed the encounters with commandments Imane, can I ask you a question when last did the Lord command you to do anything and by the word commandments, what we mean is that he instructed them. So when last did your private altar sponsor this distribution of instructions from the Lord? If we check your notes, is it just realms that you write no instruction? Remember that flesh and blood is revelatory. It means flesh and blood can interpret scriptures to a degree. To a degree that death is worked in the heart of the hearer. Are you with me? When last did God give you an instruction? Somebody may be saying it's been long and it may not be that you are not chosen. It just means that you have not won the first badge that we advertised yesterday which is the badge of a willing believer. Because the last time God spoke to you was the last time that you obeyed him. It means disobedience closes the distribution of the commands of God. It's in Genesis. The last time, did God need to command Adam after he exited the garden? No. Adam began to live by the light of the sun. And when he had fulfilled his days, which were no longer the days of heaven, the only thing that was written against his name was that he begat and then this new definition for human existence began until a man decided by subscription to fellowship which was his man's original habitat had a narrative that went beyond the norm and Enoch walked with God and was not he was the one that broke it after Enoch what were people doing the begat still started. All oh, my friends will say begatting. He continued. 
So these are the signs. A commandment or a set of commandments encounters to show that it's alive. Another set of commandments and the final thing that they have as they are talking is that they are possessors of a promise. Those who have been chosen are not designed to be in doubt of the outworkings of this day in God. God has ministered a promise into their hearts that they have taken possession for. Their lives are actually being lived in the manner that they live it because they have a promise.